Every single video, we give away products from BoostedShades.com, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video to find out how to win. What's up guys, welcome to another video. This one is Porsche specific. Yeah, today we're gonna get at the, uh, the timing. So if you've never uh, seen or heard about how these flat sixes are timed, it's quite the process. We have no idea how it works, but we do have a book that details every step that we need to take. And we've been pretty careful so far, and I'm pretty sure we'll be able to pull it off. Uh, we also have to fix a, an aggressive leak that our, uh, our build Dotson has, and uh, we'll show you guys what we're talking about. But this is gonna be a, a big ordeal, so we're just gonna jump into it. It's the oil all over our fender. It's like that on the other side too. What's happening is this bolt here that goes through the center of the uh, head actually goes into the cam and the cam is hollow and uh, when pressure and the oil starts going up, it kind of like shoots out of this bolt and then gets into the wheel and fucking slings everywhere. So. Pours down here and then starts shooting off. So uh, the only way to fix that, we've already tried um, What's it called? What do we try? What's that? Teflon shirt? tape. We've tried Teflon tape. What do we gotta do now? Didn't work. We gotta take it off, clean everything real good, and then uh, put some RTV silicone on there. And so a lot of it. We're gonna do some RTV overnight. Uh, so that's the only leak that at least we know of. And then after that, guys, we will be able to tune this car and go on a super dangerous first drive with no windshield. So yeah. we're pretty excited about that. We're probably gonna die, but it's okay. Worth it. All right. Okay, so the first thing the book tells us to do is there's all these posts that are in here and they're all like glued onto the back or something like that. I don't really know. It's some form of JB weld. Um, the book suggests that we just, it says the words are scrape this stuff off and then replace it with JB weld, but this is like, it already is like JB weld and we, we can't scrape it off. So I don't really know what to do here. We can just put more on top of it, but uh, I think the route that we're gonna go is to do nothing and just leave it how it is because it looks fine. Yeah. Our old glue looked good and new JB Weld would have needed 24 hours to cure. So we decided to begin installing the cams and everything else we needed for timing. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to explain the basic procedure to you guys. The first thing you have to do is set up the rocker arm on the intake valve for cylinder number one at top dead center. The goal here is to set up the dial gauge and measure the intake valve overlap that's required for your particular cam. After that's all set, you rotate the engine until you hit your specific intake valve overlap number. And at this point, your engine will no longer be at top dead center. After that, you unlock the cam from the timing gears and rotate the crank pulley back to TDC and then you relock the cam in its new spot. That should get you timed on one side and then you repeat the procedure for the other side of the engine. Okay, behind me is a, uh, a fully timed two factory spec. 
for the specific engine model that we have, 911 SC motor. It probably looked in the video like it didn't take that long, but it took us literally all day. Um, probably because we'd never done it before. So there's a few things that were a pain in the ass. It was mainly getting these, uh, which are the, what are they, the cam nuts? Tightened all the way to 110 foot-pounds without messing up the timing that we just worked so hard to do. And keeping enough, uh, keeping enough tension on the right side chain. We're gonna go ahead and install the rest and put on the, the actual chain tension instead of these clamps. And then we'll be able to seal everything up and move on to the fun parts like the fuel injection, the exhaust, the turbo, the intake, all that stuff. Um, so after this, the hard part is officially over. Okay, so what we're doing here is these stupid things are filled with oil and they're really, really, really difficult to uh, compress by hand so you put it in a vise. And then the book calls for a Porsche retaining pin, but we're just jamming an Allen wrench in there because it works. That one didn't work. It didn't work that time, but trust us, it works. Okay, so I stepped in and did it and it worked great. Bullshit. <laughs> Uh, we haven't done food in a while. Do you want to put popcorn in this thing? Yeah. Okay. Alright. We have a... There's something that I've wanted to try for quite a long time, and I'm pretty sure this pipe gets hot enough to cook popcorn, so... We're gonna give that a go. Right after this. So I just got back from a little drive around the block, got the exhaust hot enough, or I think, uh, we're gonna start with what, like a cap full? Sure. Yeah, put a, put a cap full in there. A cap full, I mean, what do you mean that much? No, no not that much, Dude, that's the, a fuck time. Just, you know that's like enough to end world hunger. No, it's not. All right, just put a little bit back in there. All right, I'm being a pussy, just put them all yeah, in there. Who gives a shit? I'll be a <laughs> <laughs> Did we wait like a second and see if like this is hot enough to? Let it run. Don't don't rev it. I mean, it's gonna shoot me. I can hear him. Fish on that fucking door when I rev this thing. Whoa! Whoa! Was that one? Yeah, popcorn. I missed it. Cause I don't need to eat ground corn. You, you gotta try it first. Tastes like popcorn. It tastes fine. I think you're greatly underestimating. Oh, that's awesome though. It worked, and it worked like good. Like this is this is really good popcorn. <laughs> I know we didn't get to this today. Um, all we really need to do is put silicone on that bolt there. But uh, we'll do that in the next video, which will be tuning this car to get the idle down and so we can actually drive it. Um, but that, that cam timing took all day, so we're going to wrap this one up and we'll make a Datsun based video next. Alright guys, it's going to wrap up the uh, timing video. Um, it's, it's really, like once you know how to do it, it's not that bad, but doing it for your first time, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty complicated. Jay showed me quick while I was at the shop how to do it, and he's like, yeah, it'd take you like five minutes. Well, way, way off. Yeah, it took us all day, but um, because of that, we didn't get to uh, the part of the dots and that we wanted to show you guys today, but we are gonna make a tuning video next, so obviously fixing the leak's gonna be a part of that. Um, but that's gonna wrap up this video, and Devin's gonna go ahead and pick a winner for this video's giveaway. If you're unfamiliar with our channel, we give away products from boostedchase.com every single video, um, instructions, on how to win right after Devin chooses a winner. All right, this uh, this video's winner is Zufu Warrior. Okay, so Zufu Warrior, you can contact us at teamboosted at boostedchairs.com or through any of our social media accounts, and we will get back to you and ship you your prize. Um, to win the video giveaways, all you have to do is like the video if you've actually liked it, subscribe to the channel, and answer a question we have for you guys at the end of the video in the comment section. 
Um, this video is one of those ones where you don't really feel like coming up with something, so go ahead and comment whatever you want. Anything goes. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.